Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your October 2nd through October 8th weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Um, there is some on the lawn outside so I apologize for that. Sorry about the lighting, the sun's about to go down. I'm just gonna bring my lamp over here a little bit more. Guess that'll have to do. Okay, so the basis of your reading is the Nine of Wands. That's resilience. So this week is about resilience and persistence, okay? So you do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, right here, and then we have it what again is here. So a lot of you are in a relationship with someone that um, is probably meant to be because we have a couple, a queen and a king of the same suit. This, the person that you're with could be a Leo, um, and it looks like it's like a soulmate um, connection, all right? It's like a partnership that is meant to be. That's what I see from this. Um, and maybe it's a karmic relationship. You never know. Um, either way, this week is about persistence and resilience. I do see that somebody isn't getting the attention that they desire. And, and that could be at work or it could be in your relationship. I'm not sure what it is. Or maybe somebody is feeling um, like they made a mistake or they let somebody down, you know. That could be you or that could be the other person. It could be affecting your happiness. Maybe you're, you're upset over something and um, you're feeling like you let somebody down in some way. That's what it looks like to me. Um, maybe there was a loss of money. I'm not sure what it is. But it does feel like you're being very prudent at this time and not really wanting to... Um, spend a lot of money perhaps you're saving working on saving money um and somebody's just not getting what they want out of the relationship so i'm not sure what this is about um but i see that you're sticking it out no matter what you're sticking it out even though you maybe you're feeling down or the other person is feeling down somebody is feeling like um they didn't do the right thing i'm not sure what this is but that's what i feel uh, I feel though that you are taking the lead, you're taking charge, you're putting yourself in the driver's seat. Some of you could be traveling, some of you could be moving. Um, either way, you're moving forward, all right? You're not stuck in any situation, even though you might have periods of feeling like you're stuck. I see that you're moving forward, okay, from feeling this way. This is feeling like a victim, it's a false imprisonment, it's not very practical. All right, um, and I see that you are a very practical person, so I think you have bouts of feeling like a victim, but I think they come and go very quickly because I think you're very stable and secure in general. Um, here we have the Karma card, which is the Justice card. This, this is a breakthrough. It's an awakening, finally. It's some kind of epiphany that changes everything. Okay, so I think this is within yourself. I think it's about self-respect and self-confidence and self-worth. And um, 
stability, in security. I think that you're feeling all of these things at this time. Most of the time you're feeling very stable, secure, strong, confident, um, beautiful, vibrant. I mean, most of the time, every once in a while, you might feel like you're a victim because we have that here and, and here. Every once in a while, I think it's very little. Um, I do have that, that there's a need to heal here with both of these cards. So you might need to heal over something. Maybe something happened a week ago or a month ago or recently that has caused you to feel down. But I think it, it comes and it goes pretty quickly because you have a lot of experience behind you. You have a lot of life experience. You've earned a lot. You've learned a lot. Okay, and I see that you are pretty much a master of your emotions. Um, this one right down here, the Seven of Cups, says be careful. Be careful what you choose. I, I see that a lot of you are focusing on saving, focusing on your work, and putting a lot into it. And you may be worried that you're not providing enough for somebody else because you may think they, they need more and you're not providing enough. But don't worry about that because I think what they really want is your emotional support okay that's what I'm thinking I'm thinking that you think that you need to provide more for them financially and I'm thinking that they probably want more um, emotionally all right be careful what you choose for what you own owns you and this is the outcome so it's saying really think twice about your decisions you know I see that you're putting yourself in the driver's seat and you're very you know <clears throat> You're moving fast, and I think that you're, maybe sometimes you're moving too fast, and maybe there's little things that are happening because you're moving too fast, little little um, accidents, but they're, they're minor, okay? There's little accidents, and you may feel like, um, what the hell is the matter with me, and I'm not good enough. I mean, for lack of a better word, you may be feeling like that but you really are and you need to come back to your self-respect and your self-confidence and your self-worth bring that back it's all about mastering your emotions this week okay because you are stable and you are secure and you do have plenty to offer and i think whoever this is a lot of this is for people that are coupled because i think whoever it is that you're worried about um wondering what they'll think or how they'll feel or you know if they'll accept your you know, for better or worse, you're worse, you know, if they'll accept that, I think they will, I do, I think that they're a very kind person, um, I do see that you have a lot of dreams, and you've been working really hard, and I think it's on your foundation, all right, but maybe you're too worried about it, you may be too worried about your foundation when you should just, you know, your financial foundation and what your material worth is. I think that this person really sees your, or the most important thing is, is love. We have the King of Swords up there as the first card. That's about um, some kind of authority, all right? That's Libra. Gemini or Aquarius. Right next to it, we have the Knight of Cups. That's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Here we have a Leo. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This one's you. This is a sign of Cancer, but it's about mastering your emotions. You do have Aquarius up here. I mean, I do see a lot of happiness here, believe it or not. There's a lot of happiness to be had with a little bit of feeling down this week. Perhaps you've just been moving too fast and maybe, you know, you're out of balance. Maybe your equilibrium's off because you're just move, trying to move so fast. And maybe you're even trying to prove yourself a little bit. Eight of Swords. Four of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Seven of Wands, Ten of Swords, a lot of swords. There's a lot of thoughts going on this week that are, they may be even overwhelming you this week, okay? But there's nothing to worry about because the basis of this reading is the Nine of 
wands. You will succeed. You do not quit. Persistence always pays off. This week, remember to be persistent. And remember how resilient you are. It's not like this is your first merry-go-round. Okay? So, you have a lot of completions here. We have the Ten of Cups next to the Ten of Swords and the Chariot. Okay? You have some things ending. Okay? And I think it's the ending of strife. Okay? Some, because I think that recently you've gone through a little bit of strife because I think that you've been moving too fast moving too fast on some things and it's caused some strife and I think that it's caused some mostly inner strife okay in your head of worry about oh my god what's this going to do to my relationship or what's this going to do to my job or oh my god what's going to happen next or how do they think about me I think that's in your head and maybe it's time for you to take a break and just refocus and recoup okay because I think that you're doing just fine. You just have these thoughts inside that are eating you up. Okay? It's a falseness. You have the Eight of Swords twice now. It's a false imprisonment. Feeling like, oh my God, oh my God. That's false. That's a false thought. You don't need to feel like that. You don't need to have your defenses up. Let your defenses down. Let your guard down. You don't have to fight about this. You don't have to. Just let go with the flow let it go and take some time to relax maybe you need just a uh, maybe some time alone to regroup and just relax and heal for a minute heal yourself like rejuvenate your soul because that's what i see um this right here the ten of swords is the lord of ruin it's like all, all of a sudden things come crashing down it's like oh my god what the hell is happening and things just come crashing down and once they've hit the ground there's only, all you can do is get back up. That's all you can do. So this Ten of Swords says it's probably over. You know what I mean? Hopefully, hopefully that's the case. Because whatever comes crashing down is going to come back up. Whatever you think, because this is a thought, Swords are thoughts, is ruined. Is It all has a purpose. It leads to something new. Okay? If, it's, if something is ruined, there's something right ahead of it, okay? Um, there's been some kind of disappointment, maybe last week, maybe in the last few days, and it's really taken a toll on your um, thoughts, you know, and how you feel about yourself. You may be feeling like you, you aren't good enough, but you are good enough. You're, you are definitely good enough, so don't get rid of that thought. And that's what the 10 comes in. It's time to, com to complete that thought process and, and pick yourself back up. Because the Queen of Pentacles or the King of Pentacles is very practical, all right, um, responsible, um, prosperous, dependable, kind, caring, loyal, hardworking. So you have all those traits. So remember that. Remember that. All right? When you're feeling really, really down. You have all those traits and you are definitely worthy. So I think this, this week is about um, you, you being persistent. All right? Being very, very persistent and um, realizing that th this too shall pass. Okay? Whatever's going on, this too shall pass. Let your guard down. Slow down. Um... I do see that everything happens for a reason and you will be successful, whatever this is about. And I think it's about a relationship. I think that you're feeling down because probably you, something has happened to make you feel that way. Like you're not like, oh my God, what's going to happen next? Because you made a mistake, you know, and I don't think uh, you need to worry. I don't. I think this person, whoever is coming to your mind is... Um, has genuine caring feelings for you if you are single um, we do have a Libra Gemini Aquarius here we do have another Taurus Virgo Capricorn we have Aquarius we have Cancer Scorpio Pisces
but I think a lot of you are feeling trapped in a situation, feeling like you're trapped. So it's not like I see any new love coming in this week. I think that the, you are feeling unworthy for some reason because of some mistake. I think a lot, most of this is for people who are, who are attached or with somebody and they may have made some small mistakes because they were moving too quickly and um, they might feel down or you might feel down about it. I'm talking about Capricorn now. But you're absolutely worthy. I think that's at the end of that thought process. Uh, hopefully that's what that Ten of Swords is. Okay? Something is ending, and I think it's your negative thought process. And I think that's because you go within to refocus and replan and recoup and heal. i get you one of my Whispers of Love cards. Speak the language of love. Number 35. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. Remember I said you need to act in love? Just instead, don't worry about whatever money or financial loss that has incurred or whatever it is. Or if you can't, Zoe! Or if you can't, um, if you think you can't provide enough, that the person that comes to mind doesn't care about that. All right? They care about love. <clears throat> now I'm going to read the card. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. A positive attitude works wonders in creating more love around us. Remember I said replace the negative with positive? Allow yourself to really express positive words. You, this is the truth. Only use wholesome words when speaking to others or even about yourself. Like I said, your self-worth is, is, is hurt this week for some reason. Be conscious of any language that you may use out of habit and be willing to release this to create more positive energy around you. Doing this will bring more love to you. Now remember, this may or may, may, or may not resonate with everybody as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. All right? Um, I think the main message is for you to keep going. Don't quit. Remember who you are. Remember all the life experience you have. Be persistent, all right? Be persistent with yourself, okay? Um, don't be persistent with your self-worth, with your self-confidence, all right? Don't lose it. Remember it. I think you are worthy. That's what I have, Capricorn. Talk to you later.